Captain's View. I'm Dr. Alberto Violdo. In the beginning was the breath, and the breath was God. Or so we learned from our book on creation, our story of creation. But if you go to the Mayans, you find that it was the breath of spirit that blew across the surface of the earth and called life, summoned life forth from lifelessness. Today I want to focus on the breath and how every spiritual tradition has teachings on the breath. In the East you find the teachings on the prana and you find that, that in the West we have very few orientations on how to breathe even though the breath is throughout our language of life so that we are born with the first breath and when we're feeling inspired, we inspire. And then at the end of our lives, we expire. And it's, it's interesting, if you look at the word conspiracy, it word comes from the compound word con, communion, together with conspirare, which is to breathe together. And the world has always been afraid of people that breathe together because they bring their hearts and minds together and they break, they shatter the trance, of course. What I'd like to do today is to share with you a shamanic practice for stilling the breath, for quieting the breath. And remember that for us humans, breath is an autonomic function. We're programmed to breathe. We cannot stop breathing. No one has ever committed suicide by holding their breath. It's impossible. But for dolphins, for example, breathing is optional. It's, a, it's a voluntary um, movement. It's not programmed into their brain like it is for us humans. So that the dolphin has to take every breath consciously. That's why only half of the dolphin's brain sleeps at any one time so that the other half can continue breathing and it takes turns. Right hemisphere says it's time for you to breathe now and then the left hemisphere comes on. And if a dolphin doesn't like where it's at, if it gets unhappy with the, the entertainment park and the dolphin show and, and jumping through hoops for tourists, it will go into the bottom of the deep end of the pool and decide to stop breathing. But for us, breathing is an autonomic function. When you have the divers, the men and women that are able to hold their breath down to 300, 400 feet of depth and surface again without any support from a breathing apparatus, just on a single breath, you find that their physiology changes. That instead of their heart beating 60 beats per minute, it'll come down to four to six beats a minute. To, to turn. They are triggering a very ancient survival program that allows them to go into a very almost hibernative state, but remaining completely aware and conscious. So I want to share with you a shamanic technique to slow the breath down so that we can slow the brain down and the nervous system down. So ordinarily, we breathe between 12 and 15 times per minute. Time yourself. You'll find that you're going. And I want to teach you today a process and a practice that will help you reset your breathing to four to six breaths per minute. And when you do that, your entire world slows down. You're able to go into a deep state of calm, into parasympathetic nervous system functioning. No more fight or flight, no fear, no matter what's happening in the world. Because of, unfortunately our ancient brain is triggered into fear and into fight or flight very rapidly. And we cannot, when it cannot fight and when it cannot flee, it goes into freeze. And when the brain goes into freeze, the nervous system goes into freeze, the chakras go into freeze, and your immune system goes into freeze. We're able to stop responding creatively to, to life 
and to danger. So here's the breathing practice. I'm going to demonstrate it and then I'm going to invite you to do it with me. But first just monitor how frequently you breathe normally. Get a sense of how rapidly you're breathing. And now I'm going to ask you to inhale to a count of four. And I'm going to be drumming while you're inhaling. And then hold the breath to a count of four. And then exhale to a count of eight. And hold it empty for four. Four empty, four in the inhalation, four holding full. Exhaling to a count of eight. Long, slow exhalation. So it goes like this. One, two, three, four, hold. Exhale to eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hold empty for four. One, two, three, Four. Inhale to four. Hold four for four. Exhale to eight. Inhale. Hold empty for four. Three. Four. Inhale to four. Two. Three, four, hold full to four, two, three, four, exhale softly, gently to eight, four, five, six, seven, eight, hold empty to four, two, three, four, hold empty for four, inhale to four, one, Four, hold four. One, two, three, four. Inhale, exhale to eight. Two, three, four, five, six. Draw it out. Seven, eight. Empty for four. Two, three, four. Inhale to four. One, two, three. Four, full to four. Exhale to eight. Five, six, seven, eight, empty to four. Inhale to four. Full to four. Two, three, four, exhale to eight. Two, three, four, five, six, one more, seven, eight, empty to four. One, two, three, four, inhale to four. One, two, three, four, empty for four. Two, Three, four, exhale to eight, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, empty to four, two, three, four, inhale to four, two, three, four, hold four to four, two, three, four. Exhale to eight. Empty to four. Inhale to four. Full to four. Exhale to eight. 
exhale, take gentle exhale, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, empty to four, two, three, four, inhale to four. Full to four. Exhale to eight. Empty to four. Inhale to four. Full to four. Two, three, four. Exhale to eight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Empty to four. Exhale to eight. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Empty to four. Inhale to four. Exhale to eight. Softly to eight. Gentle breath. Gentle in breath and out breath. It was hard at the beginning, I know, and then it got becomes easier as you do it. And we were breathing three to four times a minute instead of 12 to 15 times a minute. Practice this during the day and you'll find how you reset. You do a very, very deep reset of the brain to this place of inner peace and quiet. And what you also do is you release a lot of the air, the stale air that settles in the bottom of the lungs. And then when you hold the breath empty, the body begins to demand oxygen. And you can observe that, you can watch that. You still have about a minute and a half of oxygen in your bloodstream, so you're not going to be running out. But you can observe what the body does is it gets triggered to go into fight or flight again. And you can say to it, it's okay, sweetie. It's okay, Rila. Relax, my love. It's going to be all right. <sighs> wow. And then you inhale to a count of four and hold the breath full for four. It's in those moments when the breath is full and the breath is empty that we can step into infinity, that we break out of ordinary linear time into timelessness. So try this practice. Not only will it reset your fight or flight, but it will give you a taste of that one breath. That we are interconnected through the breath. That we're breathing the same breath that Christ breathed 
2,000 years ago, the same breath that the Buddha breathed. And we are sharing breath with Pachamama, with the earth all of the time. And that we truly are of one breath. And that we breathe with the earth, with the planet as we inhale and we exhale. Releasing with that breath everything that needs to be released and taking in with that breath all that sweet air that comes from the Amazon, oxygen rich to really fill us and renew us and vitalize us. I was just reading research on hyperbaric oxygen chambers. These are oxygen chambers where you breathe pure O2, pure oxygen for 60 minutes. And this was research done in Israel and they found that people that did hyperbaric oxygen, I think it was a period of three months, that their telomeres grew by 25%. Telomeres are the ends of your DNA and it's basically a marker for aging. So the telomeres of these 60 and 70 year old men and women return to what they were when they were in their 30s, simply by oxygenation, oxygenation, taking oxygen into your system so that then your cellular processes can happen efficiently. So you're not breathing stale air. So you're taking in that prana and that chi that is the vital force that we as shamans work with. We don't only work, of course, with the brute force of muscular power and teeth and brawn, but with the chi, with the life force that permeates all of creation, that is in our food, actually increasingly so in our foods where we eat organic or we eat from our own backyard. But if we are eating foods from depleted soils, the chi, the prana, the life force is depleted. It's lacking essential minerals and life force. If we drink water from our taps, it's chlorinated, that comes through a mud pipe that's fed for miles, it loses its natural spin and it's no longer carrying the chi. So we want to drink water that's alive and breathe air that's clean and that's alive. But this practice by itself will allow you to go into that deep state that the shamans use to step out of ordinary time, to drop in between the moments, to drop in between the moments and step up to the upper world or down into the lower world. In the lower world, they go to recover a part of their souls that they may have lost at birth. I love the legends of the Hopi. One of the legends is that right before we're born, that we have a twin soul, that one of the twins goes and looks out of the womb and looks at the world and sees who's there. And if it's safe for the other half to be born, it goes, come on. If it doesn't feel that it's safe, only half of us is born and the other half holds back. So we're able to summon those parts of ourselves that were never quite born, that, that were afraid to come into a body and into this, this very, very difficult world, that, that, that embodied world is. So we're also able to journey to the upper world, to the world of our becoming, but this requires that we drop in through, between the moments into timelessness, to go to the upper world of our becoming or into the lower world where the vast repositories of the wisdom of the ancestors is. The breath is absolutely the key. Practice that breath and as you do so, you'll begin to notice that you retrain yourself to breathe deeply and relaxed. That you will spontaneously be breathing between four and six breaths a minute instead of this is the breathing of, a, of an aroused central nervous system that's in sympathetic fight or flight mode. <sighs> Whereas the relaxing mode is when you make the exhalation longer than the inhalation. Remember, it's in the inhalation <gasps> that we trigger fight or flight. In the exhalation, we drop into deep, deep restfulness. 
And it's in that restful place that we can break free from the chains of time. Thank you for joining me today in the Shaman's View. Take your breath with you. Be inspired, absolutely inspired. And uh, let's co-conspire. Let's breathe together to dream together a new world. Thank you.